now? First name is Robert, R-O-B-E-R-T. The last name is Rueca, R-U-E-C-A. I'm a public information officer for the San Francisco Police Department. Okay, so what time did this all begin for your department? So this morning at approximately 9.31 a.m., we received a call uh, to check on a well-being of two individuals sitting in a vehicle. Uh, officers that arrived on scene discovered two individuals sitting in the vehicle, um, not moving, and uh, upon further investigation, we discovered that they were suffering from what appears to be gunshot wounds at this time. Uh, police immediately rendered aid, summoned medical assistance from medics, um, but uh, were later pronounced at this, uh, they were later pronounced deceased at the scene. Okay. Um, who called it in? Was it just a, a neighbor or was it someone that actually knew these two people? Uh, we are still trying to find that out. This is an active and ongoing investigation. As you see, the, um, the scene is being processed for evidence and we are still uh, wanting to speak with any witnesses who live or were in the area um, and uh, would like to speak to, to them and see what they saw or heard. What can you tell us about the victims? Two males, uh, two females, male, female? The two victims, one is a male and one is a female. They appear to be adults at this time. Uh, at this time, we have the homicide unit of the San Francisco Police Department uh, investigating this and the office of the medical examiner is also investigating this. Are you worried that this is not a random, uh, uh, that this is a random attack? Or do we have a suspect that we're on the hunt for right now? At this time, uh, we're looking at every angle um, regarding this incident. Uh, it it doesn't, to be, doesn't appear to be clear uh, whether or not there is a suspect involved. And so, again, um, this is still on, under investigation. Okay. Any weapons found at the scene? We have uh, recovered a gun from the scene, and we're still processing the, uh, the scene for further evidence. Do you have these two people identified and you just can't tell us? I mean, is the car registered to them? So um, I can't speak to the, the owner of the vehicle nor their, their identification. The Office of the Medical Examiner will uh, give that information um, when it is appropriate after uh, family members have been uh, notified. But do you, does the department know who they are? You just can't tell the public yet. I'm not able, at this time, I'm not able to disclose anything about the victims. Okay. Well, one thing, uh, when you officers arrived on scene, were the victims alive or not? Uh, we are unsure whether they were alive at this at that at the time that they we saw them. Um, again, we uh, immediately rendered aid um, to no avail, unfortunately. But th there was a long period where the police were trying to uh, get them. They kept peeking down the road. They kept peeking over uh, and weren't sure whether whether anybody was back there or any, was anybody else was back there or not. Am I correct? Um, again, how this incident um, has unfolded, uh, number one, it is not an officer-involved shooting. Um, it is uh, being investigated as a homicide. And uh, right now we have two victims who are deceased from what appears to be gunshot wounds. How long do you anticipate being out here? Uh, we're still looking at a at least a couple of hours, um, and we're still uh, scouring the area for any surveillance video as well as witnesses. Okay. Do you have any witnesses that might have heard gunshots? Uh, at this time, I'm unable to um, disclose any of that information, so uh, we are still uh, speaking with anybody who was in the area and may have seen or heard um, what happened here today. Okay. We had heard that there might have been a child involved or uh, possibly uh, the child hasn't been located. Can you speak to that at all? So in the vehicle, there is a car seat. Um, there is not a child in the, in the vehicle. And um, of course, we are concerned for uh, wh which child that would have been in that car seat. So that's still under investigation. Okay. So do you have like uh, CPS um, helping your investigation too or? We are notifying all the different departments that can assist us in locating uh, this potential child.